Hello. I'm going to be reading to you from Isaiah 7, 14. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and we will call him Emmanuel. Emmanuel means God is with us, which leads me to my next thoughts, which are um, about how I've seen God's promises fulfilled in my life. My name is Laura Mays, and I've been a member of the church here for a couple of years now, and I'm loving it. So I wanted to share a story with you about relationships and how God has showed up for me time and time again um, and brought me so much joy in my life, even through my hardships. Over 20 years ago, I was married to a very abusive man. Um, he was, uh, the worst part was the verbal. He mocked me for my Christianity and for my conservative upbringing and um, brought me through a lot of difficult times in my life. After about 12 years of this abuse um, and lifestyle that was very ungodly, I surrendered to God one day. I went for a rollerblading session on Bayshore with my then eight-year-old, and I cried out to him, and I asked him to just give me discernment um, to bring truth back into my heart um, that I just needed him in my life. And I knew that uh, my plans weren't working out so well. And I just had full surrender to him that day. I remember singing at the top of my lungs um, with my cassette player to Carrie Underwood's Jesus Take the Wheel. Um, when I surrendered to him, I, I told him, I don't care what I lose, just keep my son safe and take me, get me out of this situation. Um, about 20 minutes later, I fell and I broke my right wrist on Bayshore. And that irony behind that is that when I broke my wrist, that's when my healing actually began. Um, he began revealing the deception in my life, the people in my life that weren't from him, um, all the lies that were told to me that I was confused about. Everything just kind of came into picture and focus for me. And it was a very hard process, uh, but it was one that he did not leave me <laughs> in. Um, God is with us always. And he was just waiting for me to surrender to him because the moment that I did, he was there to direct me and to give me peace and to put the right people in my life in his timing and not mine. Um, my ex-husband was, in addition to being abusive, he was actually having an affair with my best friend at the time. And my best friend worked with this nice guy named Aaron who is now my precious husband. God made sure the two of us met and that Aaron would share all that he had heard about my life through my so-called friend. He would walk through that pain with me, end up becoming my best friend and now my husband. There are too many details in this story to share on this video, but I want you to know that I see my savior in every single one of them. He heard my cries. And he knew my repentant heart, and he had a better plan for my life. God was right there for me, waiting for me to surrender, because he knew the desires of my heart, which was a godly man, a loyal husband, a stellar father to my sons and grandson. You see, God takes our brokenness, and he turns it into his goodness. I'm still healing, and part of my journey is loving other women that have been through what I have meeting them where they are and showing them grace, encouraging them to strive for God's plan in their life and reminding them that they are a child of God. His promises are all over my life. And when I finally reached the end of myself, I found the most important relationship of all, Jesus. His promises are true and being fulfilled through my obedience to him. And one verse that I clung to throughout that is be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. Deuteronomy 31, 6. Dear God, thank you so much for this opportunity to share this with my church family. Um, you know my heart. You know I've wrestled with what I would share today, knowing that you always have a plan, even in my humility or embarrassment, you will always be glorified. 
Lord, I hope this helps one woman or one family in need right now. And I hope that this brings hope to someone who maybe doesn't believe that there is hope for them or for their future or for what the desires of their heart is. I just pray that that person would just surrender to you wholly, Lord, so that you can start working in their life and making them whole again. It is in your son's precious name that I pray. Amen. Amen.